Hello friends, back for a video, another video. So today we are going to see about uh, one more research article. So which is from uh, one more uh, repeated journal. So we have already seen this uh, journal that is uh, International Journal of Computer Vision. International Journal of Computer Vision, which is from the uh, Springer Publications, so that we are seeing today. So it is one of the reputed, one of the topmost journal because uh, it has a good impact factor, you know, no? So in this, uh, we are taking the current issue, issue number 7, July 2021, that we are going to take here. In this, uh, we are taking this research article yeah this one synthetic humans for action recognition for unseen viewpoints that is the name of the research article which we are going to go through now and of course it is an open access uh, paper so everybody can download it here when you want here and for the user's point of view that is the viewer's point of view i am just uh, putting that uh, name of the article along with that link of the article download link in the description and uh, at the same time for uh, data sets what they are going to use in the research article and uh, whatever the uh, methodology or we can tell the new model which they are using in the article so for that if any coding is available i am already trying to put that link in the description so that uh, the uh, readers and viewers uh, may not go for searching that uh, hyperlinks here and there so you can use that facility also uh, in the description go through there you can get the data set details uh, next uh, new proposal which was there in the article that details will be available and a paper full length paper is also available for download so go through that and one request as usual that uh, if you like my videos like it here and then give a like uh, uh, thumbs up right and then go for uh, subscribing my channel here because on weekly basis we will try to upload the videos and uh, of course uh, these are all uh, reputed journals with good quality publications so Understanding them and uh, going through them will definitely help for your uh, research uh, forwardness here. Okay, so that's it. So let us start this one. I am just uh, going to click this uh, uh, arti article and we got this article here. It's an open access. You can just download it here. No problem. It's uh, uh, yeah. And uh, I don't want to go through this article here itself uh, because I had downloaded the offline version for this one. We'll go through that one. That will be better, I think. So, okay. So, I'm just minimizing this uh, Google video that is video and then I'm opening the article. So, this is the article. This is a manuscript which we have downloaded. It is from the International Journal of Computer Vision 2021. Okay, from Springer uh, Publishers and the name of the article is uh, Synthetic Humans for Action Recognition for Unseen Viewpoints. So what is the um, meaning of this uh, uh, title? So they are telling you synthetic humans, synthetic human, synthetic means it's an artificial point thing is called as synthetic, which is not natural. That means uh, here they are trying to design some synthetic human uh, videos like where their actions will be there and they try to recognize. So the overall thing is that it's a computer vision journal. So they are going for uh, uh, what we can tell here recognition, uh, video recognition. So if someone is there, then we need to know that who is this person by having some cc camera uh, footage videos like that so that is what now the main uh, limitation what they are pointing out here you can go through the abstract and get that point so you can see uh, our goal in this work is to answer the question whether 
synthetic humans can improve the performance of human action recognition with a particular focus on generalization to unseen viewpoints uh the problem is like this here now uh, for example there was a thief which was uh, there in your house or or there was a crime scene where uh, there was uh, uh, one small video okay of our, our footage of a person but complete video is not available in different uh, viewpoints so then how can we recognize that particular person as that person or not so that is the problem so for that problem the solution is that you need to have the full length video of that person to recognize him in different angles like uh, face facing to the camera on left side towards camera right side towards camera and of course that is not possible a a, a thief or uh, some uh, criminal is not going to post all the actions to your uh, camera na he is just uh, running away na so then how can we recognize uh, such type of uh, short limiting video sequences for recognition that was the problem what they said so for that purpose what they want to do is they want to create a 3d human body reconstruction like they they had captured a video of a person who is sitting then how can uh, this uh, person's video will be there if he is standing if he is running if he is laying down so those all animations they want to create by using their a particular software and then they want to train the model on that one such that if we got uh, one limited video clipping of a particular person in one angle then we can recognize actions with different actions from unseen view points what the uh, aim of the paper i think so little little depthly i am going here okay because uh, after understanding the real point you can go forward without any much uh, discussion got now so that was the real so here you can see some of the things the following are the contributions of their work they are giving we investigated the extent of variations of ambiguities that are beneficial to improve performance of a new view points for new view points what are different type of uh, variations they can create they have considered such as body shape if the person is having a, a thin body shape if he is like a fat body shape how can uh, he be uh, uh, animated clothing if he is having this particular clothes for example we know a person who who wear some white uh, clothing like that and on the camera scene we have seen uh, that person with some uh, uh, green clothing then how can we recognize that this person that person is same so let us change the clothing also take the green person animation what was there in the camera and try to change the clothes to white clothes and try to see how he will be there in the white clothes so like the or otherwise action wise those all things different sampling techniques they approach here and then second point is that they have used a data generation methodology called as su react that allows transforming of spatial temporal things uh, for classification and then they have used state of art recognition performance on ntu rgbd and utts standard human action multi view point benchmarks these are the different type of data sets what we can access for this area and finally they have extended uh, the augmentation approach Uh, for a different uh, demonstration okay that's uh, there we have taken a lot time for uh, abstract description let's go forward so in this you can see uh, yeah you can see in this work we propose what they have given here synthetic videos with action labeling for the target set of categories that they have proposed etc okay and one important point you just please concentrate here that our code and data will be available at the project page 1 so whatever they have did the contribution na uh, or they can tell that uh, particular uh, uh, data sets what they have used all those things are available at this particular point so you just click this hyperlink and you can see here we are getting human synthetic humans for action recognition from unseen point of views so all the related data is there coding is there so don't leave those things here videos are there 
go through okay of course they are having copyright notice we are not going to do any uh, copyright violations we are just here for studying the things here now and we are going to make uh, new improvements of that one which are very much ours and uh, that means the viewers and ours and we are going to publish there's nothing wrong uh, about copyright we are not going to go for any uh, uh, copyright uh, stri uh, strike etc those things okay so right that was the thing and then uh, you can see some more things here mm, yeah uh, human uh, 3d human motion estimation how they did it here they had given here the structure here yeah you can see this one if a if we got a camera clipping or a video clipping of a person who is sitting on the chair like this you can see now now so this will create an animation and uh, and then we will make it to turn to some 60 degrees or 70 degrees and then we will try to change the clothing here she is having a background of something green chair we will change it to different chair color or the clothing is here uh, she is a, a female and we can make that image into a male and how it will be addressing like that see here she is standing here he is standing a cheering up so that we can change it to some other action so you can take a 3d human you can go through for motion camera cloth body shape light everything can be changed and get the new things okay and then they have used this uh, surat data set components what they have used here that is also good you can go through so uh, yeah then uh, they showed uh, frame sampling technique is one of the technique which they are using in their paper in their research article and go through the experiments in the experiments what they are going to give you see it here the data sets and evaluation protocol how they have used here what type of data sets they have used here see here we got the details uh, real baseline for training and testing with our cross view subjects what they have given the values that will be more beneficial if you go through and here we are having uh, uh, some more uh, diagrammatic representations which are showing you uh, the variations of uh, different uh, approaches and data sets here how they are working okay and then still goals results and all those things we can see here, here we are having the representation of this uh, real value synthetic and synthetic plus real how it goes on okay and they made the comparison with the state of art also mm, state of art also like here you can see the methods they had given here now vscnn is one more method which was published in 2018 joel say j-u-e-l-e is 2017 proposal R E S N E X T that was in 2018 they compared all these with their work here and just uh, have shown that their accuracy are much better okay right and again uh, results are there so and I can see here here also the comparative approaches are there here uh, yeah yeah a lot of list is there see see here up to this much up to this much these all are the comparative approaches these all are 2016 proposal 17 18 2019 and they are trying to get the values for those and then they try to uh, see how for them it will be there if they are taking synthetic uh, real rgb synthetic real flow so these are the their proposals so where they are getting some good values you can see 95 is there for synthetic real rgb plus flow so where they are using the animations and uh, giving that animation idea for training uh, to the model and try and model is going to perform better so that's what they are showing and uh, yeah here they are giving more details like uh, different motions can also be simulated clapping climbing the rope exercising arm jogging jumping dancing so many so many animations they try because they they got the way how to animate one and they can go for different yeah you can see here uh, for real data how much they get the values and for uh, getting this uh, synthetic human that is uh, change getting the videos of the synthetic uh, uh, data set and working on that so overall you can see conclusion 
so we present an effective methodology for automatic augmentation action recognition data set with synthetic videos synthetic videos that means uh, artificially created videos if they are there with that how that particular uh, uh, performance is going to be of course it is uh, improving our analysis uh, emphasizes the question of how to diverse the motion with an action category so how can we go on changing the motion so that they have sh sh shown here and uh, our approach is limited by the performance of 3d pose estimation so they said that one of the limitation of the work is where they are going to have only 3d pose only mm? we, which can fail in some scenarios so in future direction they have included uh, some conditional generative models of motion sequencing and simulation and contextual cues etc of course one point is clear that we are trying for doing as much as we want but little more will be remain and a regular communication establishment can be one of the way through which you can have more deeper understanding of this research articles which we are explaining here okay i welcome everybody if anybody is having any queries you can be open it will be a, a stream of knowledge sharing where we are trying to share the knowledge i'm going to uh, have the discussion with you and of course surely i'm going to get some more details from you also which will be very much beneficial to me this may be a medium for us to communicate okay and I thank you and here you can see the acknowledgement also this is a research project uh, work they are doing here and of course uh, uh, there are a lot of additional material details are there you can see it's only 15th page what we are seeing and the, there we got the conclusion after 15 till at 24 nine more pages are there which is having the appendix uh, details where they give more details if we are having pushing at the other person's simulation then what is the real animation coming out if we are having face wiping then what is the animation coming out so the how can we simulate that animation for different scenarios it's a good work it's a good work and additional analysis is also there it goes on till 24 pages still we are only in 15 pages okay and of course good references are also in there that's all about today's uh, video almost all we have gone through whatever uh, is possible through this medium and of course uh, we say that we need more interaction definitely for better sharing of the knowledge and uh, if you like my videos give a thumbs up icon okay that means a like here and then try to subscribe to my channel for regular updates okay uh, what more what more we can have yeah sometimes it may be little uh, time lag can be there obviously i try to go and uh, share the videos on saturday evening 5 pm sometimes because of uh, uh, some of the busy schedule it may go up to some other days okay so today we are sharing it on sunday okay that's what i'm telling you okay so let us uh, conclude the video right so try to share the videos try to like it here and subscribe my channel and for further communication try to establish the communication through the chat boxes here and here we will be ready for you okay best of luck for your research